What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jam Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, some a rumor came out that was very upsetting. You and I, Brian, had a conversation regarding perhaps a possibility of a special presentation regarding the Silver Surfer, which I think would be an amazing idea. And the rumor mill has said that Silver Surfer may appear in the Fantastic Four film. He may be the antagonist. Brian, this is very upsetting. Because you know what immediately I thought of? Rise of the Silver Surfer. I was just about to say, did you just think that they're running back the sequel with, with Chris Evans, Jessica Alba? And yeah. Okay. It's like, yo, why, 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 why? Hopefully, Brian, this rumor is out there to see, to get a feeler. And I'm here to tell you, don't do it. Because it's, it's, it's just not going to do the Silver Surfer justice. I don't think it's going to do the Fantastic Four justice. And it's just going to be another, not a, perhaps not a train wreck, just very underwhelming. Your thoughts, Brian? Well, my first question to you is, do you think there's a lot of forms this could take. Do you necessarily think it's mutually exclusive that Silver Surfer's in this movie and there's not a special presentation? So my thought when I kind of parsed it out was what if there is a special presentation to give you some backstory on Silver Surfer? What if he's, what we don't know is how major a part is this in this movie? You could certainly use the combination of a credit scene and a special presentation to lay some ground certainly if he's in the movie like for real then do you see any scenario where he's not the antagonist how else would this work like I, it's a sp the only thing that lends credence to this to me is that we know it's a space-based adventure mm -hmm. that they're trying to stay off world but for him to be in this movie given the dna of the character he has to be in his role as the Herald of Galactus. No, what else could he be? Yeah. They can't be encountering him as Nor... Or not, they couldn't really be encountering him as Nor and Ran pre-becoming no. the Surfer, I wouldn't no. think. No. So he would be the bad guy of the movie then, effectively. Yes. And I'm kind of with you if he is the bad guy of the movie. Feels rushed to me. Absolutely. I mean, Brian, if we have some movies coming out, we still don't know what we'll get in those movies. If if some of those movies, I don't know if they tease it in Guardians of the, Gal uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, some some groundwork has to be uh, laid out before you bring in the Silver Surfer. You gotta give me that story of Nora and Rat and how he becomes the Silver Surfer. I gotta see it. I gotta see it. That is one of the best scenes in the Silver Surfer animated series, Brian, that I, sh that I, that I sent you. <laughs> That's that's my go-to when I want to see Silver Surfer. That Galactus is amazing in that. The voice acting in that is amazing. Brian Craston voice uh, Galactus voice in Galactus. That special presentation is key. It can mitigate a lot of destruction heading into that movie, Silver Surfer being Fantastic Four. But what happens, Brian, is that you take a lot of that attention away from the Fantastic Four. Yeah, I agree. So it's there's still concern there. Um, especially if you want to make the Fantastic Four the stars, because that's what they are. They're celebrities. I think it's also concerning because as we discussed with, as it pertains to something like Secret Wars, I have to think Reed Richards is going to be at the center of whatever solution they this team of Avengers ultimately comes up with, which means that this movie has to move them onto the board and we've heard that this might be a period piece, right? We've heard it might be like actually starting in the 1960s and have a little bit of time travel or something involved. But yeah. it has to put these pieces on the board such that they can hook up with the Avengers and credibly kind of help in the fight against Kang. And I almost feel like if you're going with Silver Surfer, that obviously leads you to Galactus pretty quickly. And if you're doing that, that feels early. And honestly, almost makes me wonder, like, is Disney that nervous that they can't pull this off? That they feel like they got to fire the bullets of Surfer and Galactus 
already because they were afraid they won't get a shot at Fantastic Four, two and three. That makes a lot of sense, Brian, and that's concerning. I don't think their presence makes or breaks the box office for that film. Do you? Like, do you think? I'm just saying. Like, do you think if it, if Fantastic Four is confirmed to have Silver Surfer as a major antagonist and a tease of Galactus at the end of it, do you think that that is hundreds of millions of dollars difference at the box office automatically? No, I think it's still a disappointing uh, box not. office. Brian, what I want to see is Galactus, Galactus speaking to Reed. I want to see the Watcher show up and the people look going crazy because, yo, that is mass hysteria. I want to, I, I want to see that, Brian. I want to see this done the right way. Um, believable way. Um, it would be funny if, like, that's what I'm telling you, man. If they do the X-Men and X Professor Xavier is wiping minds. He's wiping minds because people should be going crazy after seeing um the judge. What's his what's the the celestial, the the celestial name that was oh era. One of the Celestials stand outside of Earth and, and people saw that. This should be mass hysteria, but there isn't. Professor X is wiping minds. Brian, I need to see all this play out in order for this to work. It can't be a rerun of the Rise Arishim. of the Arishim. <laughs> Arishim. It can't be a, 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 a remix of what yeah. we got that didn't work and not showing the interaction between Reed and Galactus, not showing Silver Surf is a complicated character, Brian. And by the way, Brian, I don't know if you saw, Kristen Bell said he's open to coming back to do another role. And Silver Surfer would be perfect because that is a tragic character. Surfer and Galactus, to me, feel like the next saga. Especially, Jonathan, Brian, that cosmic aspect of it. That that's is what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, Kang, multiversal saga, fantastic. We trust in majors. It's a hard degree of difficulty. But Galactus is the big bad of his own cycle. Like, he, yeah. does, th th he doesn't belong in a... He doesn't belong, like, side by side with Thanos. He doesn't belong side by side with Kang. If you're going to use him as, like, a planetary destroyer and, a and an intergalactic threat... He's his own saga. That's a whole next phase yeah. that you want to get into. I don't want to see any hint of him until after Secret Wars. Yeah. Or I guess if you want to put a credit scene in Secret Wars that ties that maybe, but I don't I don't need it. When I think about Fantastic Four, they have to get the family right. I, I actually think there's an inspiration. It's a twisted one, but there's an inspiration sitting right in front of them that's been very successful because it thinks about things this way. Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Academy works not because of the antagonists. Yeah. It works because of the dynamic between the kids and between the kids and, and Reginald, the dad. Yes. That's what the show is built on. That's what propels the narrative. You want Fantastic Four to work? It's about those four. Yeah. And, and that alone should carry your story. I don't care what problem they're trying to solve. The real problem they're trying to solve is each other. Yeah. And like, that's all I need to see. Yeah. And that was where none of the other, you know, that we've seen the first iteration, the second iteration, the chemistry just fell flat with both families. Yeah. Didn't buy it. Yeah. <laughs> and that is a tight knit family. It's we different want... than other characters. We want to see. literally got that... siblings, right? You literally got siblings. And then you basically have, you know, you have a marriage and then you have like, best friends from childhood. I mean, you have all of these layers of love and relationship. It's different. Yeah. And, and and sometimes stuff like that needs to, especially with that, with four, with four characters that you're trying to dive into, it, it may need some time to, you know, it may, it may need a couple of movies, some introduction and perhaps another film. I don't know, Brian, but whatever it is they decide to do, that, as you said, needs to work. That family dynamic needs to work. And if we don't believe it, it's not going to work. It's over at that point. Yeah, and honestly, like, whatever problem you put in front of the Fantastic Four in their first movie, to me, 
all it should really be is a vehicle for Reed to show that his intellect is on another level from anything we've ever seen. And then something that necessitates their powers being uniquely useful to the problem. Like you basically back into the movie. You don't need like the equivalent of the Joker or some like singular villain to carry the movie. That's a mistake if that's mm. what they're trying to do. And Silver yeah. Surfer, quite honestly, is too interesting to be used in that capacity. Yes. We got I got to see Norman Rad. I got to see him become Silver Surfer. I got to see him taking Galactus to other planets and destroying billions of lives and him questioning that there's no other person to me than Kristen Bell that can do that <laughs> <laughs> you know him questioning that and and him in some event that causes him to have some memory of his former life there, there's a very that that relationship between him and Galactus is very important too Brian so I need to see that I need to so see when that. So, okay, this is a nod that only you might understand and remember because okay. we both love this movie. So if Kristen Bale is playing Norrin Rad, then the moment he breaks free of Galactus, do you want his, do you want his like heart line to go flat and him to say, not without incident? <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure you guys, I, I, not a lot of people saw this movie, but if you did see this movie, he is referring to um, Equilibrium. I saw that movie in the theaters, Brian. And I came I saw out, the trailer in the theater. I was blown away. I came out well, riveted out of that out of that theater. You know, I was like, wow, this was just dope, but <laughs> nobody really liked it. Um, yeah, that's our show. What tell us what you guys think about the Silver Surfer, man. How would you want him to be introduced into the MCU? Do you want him to show up in Fantastic Four? I don't think. I think if you think about it, you may not want to because it'll automatically remind you of the second movie. We want no um, memory of that film, of those, all those prior films. Um, well, let us know in the comment section below, really. Let us know what you guys think. And if you give us some, this again, I, I've got to put, I got to shout her out. I, I started to understand pinning comments now, and I should have done that with hers. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below. Shout outs to um Black Rock, not Black Ad, not Mr. The Rock, no Black Rock, Black Rock YouTube profile. Always commenting some really uh good stuff. And Freddie from Brooklyn um commenting stuff. Sometimes I don't know what he's talking about, but he's always commenting. Thank you, Freddie. Um looking forward to speaking to you soon, my friend. Um, Brian, last words. No, I mean, like I said, we've also had a couple of casting rumors, but it's early. Let's let's kind of wait and see what the rumor mill develops here. We've had a couple of names floating. I think I said I think we're in inning one, but like yeah, the conversations yeah. are now starting to be had. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, and and they're pretty good. I, I mean, I, I, yeah, they're, they're interesting. They're interesting. And the yes, age range is about what we thought. The age range yeah. is kind of like late twenties, early thirties. That's kind of where where the people we're seeing in the rumor mill start to prop up our, our age. Very interesting. Very interesting things to come. Yes, um, we'll see you next time on the Nerd Report. Woo! Woo!